Hello and welcome. In our previous video, we had seen how to create parameters component and schemas component and reduce the redundancy in our API definition. In this video, we are going to learn how to create multiple responses while defining API definition. Here, if you see in the case of 200 status, we are getting this JSON message back. What if there is some other code like 500 error or 400 error? Uh, what will be our response that we are going to learn today? So here under responses, I am going to create one more response that is for 500. Here I am going to make use of references in order to define this. I will define this response under components over here. So here we have to select this ref responses. Here we have to name I am giving as 500 API error. It's asking for the content uh, description we can uh, give. I will provide the description as 500 error encounter. So content will be uh, application slash uh, JSON. So I will copy the content from here, the schema and paste it over here. I will indent this properly. Yeah, fine, this looks good. Now we have to reference it from here. So I will make use of this uh, ref and 500 API error. As you could see in the UI, in case of 200, we are getting uh, this message and in uh, case of error status, error status description, error encountered while creating products. So apart from this, if you want uh, one more field, that says the status reason, that also we can have it over here. We can name this, give, can provide the description as error reason. It will display over here like this. So based on this, the service consumer can design their integration or their service based on the response uh, that would expect from this using which this API definition is built. So like this, we can have a multiple responses for our different status codes. In our next video, we will learn how to define the multiple media types while creating API definition. Thank you for joining us in this video.